My name is Kai, I've been learning FPV for about four to five months now, and I transitioned from filmmaking and dance, break dance specifically. And of all the things that I've done in my life, FPV has actually been the highest barrier to entry, even more than learning how to spin on your head and all that stuff. That being said, it's a lot better than it started, but there's still a lot that you have to figure out. So that's what I wanted to do today. Uh, I went to the park with some friends, uh, Ben, who's been flying for three to four years now, Caesar, who's also been flying for four to five years, and Adriel, who's been flying for about two years. I asked my friends who've been doing this and have helped me so much through my own journey, what they think are the most important things that an FPV pilot should know when first starting out. If you're interested in the hobby, I hope this video helps you out and gives you a little bit of insight into not only what it is you can do to expedite your learning process, but also to give you a little bit of a look at what it's like to be in the hobby. Enjoy the video, you guys. Something I wish I knew is the quality of parts. So like what people say is like um, you get for what you pay for. Spend money on good equipment if you want to get like good results and actually like, uh, you know, get good at it. This transmitter is good. Um, I've been using it for the past two years. I love it. And if I had to buy another one, I would. So yeah, just spend your money on good, on good products uh, and you'll be happy with it. Just make sure you do some research before it. And yeah, it should be good. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, guys, this is Crystal, aka Adriel. The man who introduced me to this whole world. What do you? What do you? What is something that you wish you knew when you first started? Something that I wish I would know is uh, don't cheap out. Cause this hobby, if you plan on staying on this hobby, I bought some EHC E8 100s and they like they got me into the hobby. But now I wish that I invested all that money to was like some DJI or some fat sharks. Okay. What about mentality? Like, what is something um, gear aside? Just going in. Is there anything like? In, in terms of learning and getting better that you wish you knew ahead of time? Mostly wiring and uh, soldering I wish I knew a little bit more. For example, batteries. Uh, I went in frying a couple ESCs and flight controllers after when I first started because okay. I didn't know about voltages and uh, about all that stuff. So I plugged in like the wrong batteries to the wrong pads. Oh, like really? That, so. Just basic electronic circuits. That's what I would For sure. And I, I've had a few things short circuit because of the bad wiring too, so. That's a skill in its own. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot, but it's a lot of fun. Thank you, Crystal. We got Mr. Wage and Ben here. Pilot boy, man responsible for that beautiful Skylar right there. And also pretty much this. Appreciate this, man. I love you too. Uh, I wish I built my own drone. Starting out, I got a pre-built drone. And then when it broke, I had no fucking clue how to fix it. So I would recommend to anyone starting out, build your own drone. Also do a lot of research on your parts because I built some, or I bought some stuff that I regret. I bought that and that's a piece of trash. Oh, you're talking about the spectrum? Yeah. spare you guys the gory details but uh i don't know what happened i guess when i was trying to pick Skylar up she cut me it's not too bad it i'll be okay it's just i guess a cautionary tale to be careful when you're picking up your quad strange because i pretty sure i did not arm it but i mean i can't really think of any other reason why i'd start right i mean maybe, maybe you were in total in turtle mode you didn't know it maybe Well, you guys, I suppose this will conclude our vlog. I got a lot of good information for you guys. If you're looking into starting FPV, but even if you're not, I really hope that you enjoyed the video and you learned something. Um, I know I learned a lot today just from going out and flying with the boys. My piece of advice to you guys who are starting out is to find a group or find one person, just someone you can ask questions to. Once you can find someone who's been through it themselves, and has gone through this process of looking for parts and tuning your quad and learning to fly, all of this stuff. Once you can actually talk to somebody who has experienced it, it's gonna be so much faster than anything out there, including videos a lot of the time because it's responsive. So that's my tip to you guys and I hope that it helps and that pretty much applies to any craft that 
requires learning. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please keep coming because this is so much fun. Like this happened, but I'd honestly, I'd do it all over again because it's so much fun and it's, it's such a journey. You don't know what's gonna happen. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and even if you don't, I hope you have a great day. Until next time, peace.